Welcome to Design Fusion's Solid Edge blog. This is part three of our series on the variable table. In this part, we'll be looking at using peer variables and the expose variable option. The peer variables command allows users to access variables for a part or subassembly from within an assembly. Located on the Tools tab in the Variable group, the tool allows you to edit or copy and paste variables between parts within an assembly. You can use the peer variables command to edit a part variable when you are in the assembly document or when you have in place activated a part within the assembly. In ordered modeling, before you can paste variable links in the variable table, you must set the paste link to variable table option on the enter part tab of the options dialog box. To use the peer variables command to edit variables for parts within an assembly or subassembly, do the following. Select the peer variables command and then select the part or subassembly that contains the variable you want to edit. In the variable table, select the variable you want to edit. You can change any of a variable's attributes except its type and unit type. For example, you can change the name, value, or formula. This slide shows you the peer variables command bar. Along with editing variables, you can use the peer variables command to associatively link variables between parts within an assembly or subassembly. When linking variables, the dimensions for the variables must be driving dimensions. To link variables between parts in an assembly, do the following. Select the peer variables command and select the part from which you want to copy a variable. We'll call this part A. This will place you in the variable table for part A. Click the button adjacent to the row that you want to copy. This will highlight the entire row. Click the right mouse button to display the shortcut menu, then click Copy Link. Next, still in the Peer Variable command, select the part that you want to paste the variable into. We'll call this Part B. In the Variable table for Part B, click the button adjacent to the row for the variable you want to control. This will highlight the entire row. Click the right mouse button to display the shortcut menu, then click Paste Link. Let's have a look at this in Solid Edge. Notice that I have a simple two-part assembly consisting of a handle support and cover. If I open the variable table by using the variables command, you'll notice that only the assembly variables appear. These variables happen to be assembly relationship variables. I'll close the variable table and select the peer variables command. Next, I'll select the handle support part. Notice that the variable table opens displaying the variables for this part. Notice that if I click on this variable, it highlights the length of the inner handle center pin. In fact, I can change the name of this part variable directly from the assembly using the peer variable command. I'll name this handle underscore center underscore pin. Next, I'll use the peer variables command to select the handle cover part. Once again, the variable table opens displaying the variables for this part. I'll locate the variable that represents the length of the cover and I'll edit the name. Again, I am editing the part variable name directly from the assembly. I'll call this cover underscore length. I can also rename the variable that controls the cutout length for the handle center pin. I'll rename this to cover underscore cutout. I could also edit the values and even create formulas if I wanted to using the peer variables command. For now, I'll just edit the names and close the command. Now I will create some links. I wish to be able to control the length of the handle from the assembly. First, I'll open the assembly variable table and add a user-defined variable to represent the handle length. 
I'll name this handle underscore length and I'll give it an initial value of 70 millimeters. I then click the button adjacent to this row, right click and select copy link from the shortcut menu. Make sure you select copy link and not just copy. I then close this table and select the peer variables command. I will start with the handle cover part. At the bottom of the table, I will add a user defined variable and name it handle underscore length. It's important to note that there are other ways to do this, but I find by recreating the handle length variable in the part, it allows me to understand the links that I've made if and when I have to do future edits. I'll give this the same starting value as in the assembly. I'll then click the button adjacent to this row, right click and select paste link from the shortcut menu. Make sure you select paste link and not just paste. Notice that the link appears in the formula column. I can now use this variable to define my other variables in this part. First, I'll make the cover underscore length variable equal to the handle underscore length variable. Then I'll make the cover underscore cutout variable equal to the handle underscore length variable minus 15. Here I'll use control C to copy this and then control V to paste it to save some typing. Notice that when I enter in the handle length variable, the cutout goes through the cover, but when I add the minus 15, it adjusts back to the correct depth. Once I finish editing these two variables, I close the table. Let's repeat this one more time. I'll open the assembly variable table. I then click the button adjacent to this row that I wish to copy and right click and select copy link from the shortcut menu. I'll close the assembly variable table and use the peer variables command. This time I will click on the handle support part. At the bottom of the table, I will add a user defined variable and name it handle underscore length as I did in the previous part. I'll give it the same starting value as before and then click the button adjacent to this row, right click and select paste link from the shortcut menu. Again, notice that the link appears in the formula column. In this part, I will make the handle underscore center underscore pin variable equal to the handle underscore length variable minus 15. When I've completed my edits, I close the table. To test this, I'll go to my top view and let's save the assembly. I'll then open the assembly variable table, where I will change the value of the handle underscore length variable from 70 to 100. Notice that nothing happened yet. For this to work, you need to click on the Update Active Level command on your Tools tab. Notice that the handle now adjusts as expected. If I use the Peer Variable command and look at the variable table of the handle cover part, you can see that the variables have been updated to the new values. Let's do this one more time. I'll open the assembly variable table and change the value of the handle underscore length variable from 100 to 50. I then click on the update active level command to complete the modification. Using the peer variable command, I have created links which allow me to drive the assembly part variables from the assembly variable. Users can select variables from within individual part and assembly files and expose them as properties using the expose and expose name columns in the variable table. The variables you expose can be referenced in many different dialog boxes. For example, they are displayed in the properties list on the custom tab in the file properties dialog box. This also makes the variables available in the draft environment and in the property manager. To expose a variable, do the following. 
In the variable table, select the exposed checkbox for the variables you want to make available. The exposed names of variables in the variable table must be different from one another. The exposed name for a variable cannot be the same as the name of an existing custom property. In the exposed name column, type a new name for the property. If you do not specify an exposed name, Solid Edge uses the variable name as the exposed property name. Once you click OK, the variables become available as properties with the names you specified. Let's have a look at this in Solid Edge. Back in our handle assembly, I will open the assembly variable table. In the handle underscore length row, I'll check the expose option in the expose column. Notice that it applies the handle underscore length name to the expose name column. I could apply a different name to the expose variable, but for this demo, I will just use this name. I'll close the variable table and make sure that my assembly is saved. Next, I will create a draft document of this assembly. I'll just use the standard view for the assembly and click OK. Once in the draft document, I'll create a quick parts list. In the Columns tab, you'll notice that the variable is listed as both a custom property and exposed variable. I'll add the handle underscore length custom property to the columns. On the List Control tab, I'll toggle on the Show Top Assembly and List option. I'll click OK and place the parts list. Notice that the handle underscore length appears in the parts list simply because I used the expose variable option, allowing me to add this to the parts list. Want to learn more? Sign up to our customer portal at the website listed here, where you have access to knowledge base articles, tips and tricks, how to articles, and much more. If you need additional support, contact our support team at support at designfusion.com or call us at 1-877-215-1883.